Oh wow. <laughs> I don't need it. I don't need it. I definitely don't need it. You really don't need this Lycon or any other signature Lycon. I'm talking to the new players, the free to plays, the light spenders, and the whales. Most of us aren't always able to get the characters we want, but when we do, we might think that we're missing out on some parts of their kit because we don't have them at E2 or we don't have their Lycone. I won't lie though, some signature Lycones are fire, like Ron May's Lycone which gives 60% break effect to herself and a 24% team wide damage increase on top of her existing buffs, which by the way she gives by just existing, but with a limited amount of stellar jades, personally I don't think it's worth it. New players have it especially hard because they haven't played long enough to save their jades and they already missed out on several characters. Even I, who bought the monthly pass a few times since the game launched, still don't have enough to pull all the characters I want. That might just be a skill issue, but hey, I want a lot of characters, alright? We have to manage our funds wisely, and I believe that means having to sacrifice these Lycones. Besides, the end game, which includes MOC, Pure Fiction, and Simulated Universe, is completely beatable with 4-star and even 3-star Lycones. Well, support ones anyway. Just by playing the game regularly, you will get enough Lycones from pulling on the character banners and the standard banner, no matter how long you've been playing. I've had no trouble full clearing MOC ever since I got a DPS from my second team back in the day, which was Jinglu, with no need for a signature Lycone. On the fall of an Eon from the Herda store works just fine with her and cruising in the Stellar Sea works just fine with Sila as well. If Clara or Ratio need a Lycone, they can use a Secret Vow, Under the Blue Sky, or Swordplay. I don't need Jing Yuan's Lycone for my Ching Chue to do Ching Chilean damage when Genius's Repose gives me more crit damage at S5. Asterisk. 5 star signature Lycones would make battles and building characters a lot easier, but it's not necessary. I remember the few weeks before Acheron's release were insane because Doom posters were saying how bad she'd be at S0. And how her Lycone is a must pull because of how much damage it does over all the other 4 star options, but it's absolutely overkill. Nobody needs that much damage, at least right now. I cleared MOC 12 in about 4 cycles with an E0 Acheron and an S2 Good Night and Sleep Well. Even with an unfinished build, I can still dish out about 200 to 300k damage on 2 enemies, which is way more than my Jinglu ever did. Skill issue? Maybe. But what I had was enough for what was needed. Now if you don't have Good Night and Sleep Well, then you can just use Fermata. Other content creators have already shown that the current Memory of Chaos can be beaten within 5 cycles with just an S5 Fermata and the right team comp. My stance on Eidolons are basically the same thing, they make fights easier but unnecessary to pull for. Eidolons and Lycones shouldn't be seen as the total package but rather as bonuses to an already complete package. You just need to know how to play around it. In a game where the end game heavily revolves around new characters kits, characters have way more value. New characters provide new gameplay mechanics which means ultimately more fun. Oh and Lycone banners aren't even guaranteed. It's 75-25 which is way better than Genshin but losing the 75-25 would just feel bad. Okay but even with all this yapping, what if you still really wanted a Lycone or an Eidolon. Honestly, it's your jades, your decision. It's up to you how you want to spend them, just don't be like that one Chinese player who pulled a hundred of Akron's Lycone. That's just unhealthy. But hey, if you really like a character and the upcoming characters in the next patch or so aren't to your liking, then sure, why not? If there's a specific playstyle you want to go for like E2 Akron or DPS Pela, or you're going for zero cycles, sure, why not? But for the average player that can't afford it, don't do it. If you just need damage, just go back into the relic mine like the rest of us. Getting the signature Lycone to finally get the final star for MOC isn't worth the potentially 16,000 jades you spend on it. Maybe even more if you lose the 75-25, when you only get 60 jades back from that one star. The blue feathers don't even make it worth it either, but that's just my opinion. This is just a reminder slash PSA for all the players that needed to hear this. Me especially because I told myself I would never pull for Lycones and I failed. I don't even pull for weapons in Genshin and I can fully clear Spiral Abyss just fine. Let me know in the comments if I missed anything or if I'm just coping because I probably am considering how much I regret my recent Lycone decisions and the fact that I lost both 50-50s on Sparkle and Acheron. So who knows, with so much damage from Acheron alone, future power creep might just get even worse and may just inflate the enemy's health even more where we really will need to pull for a signature Lycone, but that's for another time. For now, I will say that I will never pull for a Lycone again unless Sam's Lycone changes everything. Thanks for watching.